How are we doing everyone? Mark Joseph Szymanski, owner, founder of Fina Tech with you here again today. Really gonna try to make this a quick video because I'm only gonna try to discuss one topic specifically because I've been trying to figure this out. I'll explain the problem and then how I solved it. But as you can see by the title and thumbnail and everything is we have a kind of a membership site, but not really in a way. So there's a lot of great people out there. I wanna shout out a couple. So Danica, incredible uh, videos uh, on this type of thing. Obviously WP Toots, uh, you know, pretty much everybody else in this community that's made jet engine content or membership website content. A uh, lot of good stuff out there. I encourage you to go check out their channels and subscribe. Um, that being said, there's like a real niche problem, I guess, that I was kind of having here. And maybe I'm, I'm probably not the first one to, to, to realize how to do this, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I'm making a video explaining how I did it because I like the solution that I came up with. This website is our portal for our agency built on WordPress, built on a subdomain of our, of our main marketing website. It has, you know, login, create account, forgot password, like all that sort of stuff. I'll do a full video. I'll link to the video that I made about this, like version one of this portal. Uh, it's built with custom post type UI, ACF. There's no jet engine in there because it's before I found out about the wonders of jet engine. Um, but I'm rebuilding it kind of with those types of things. So you can check out that if you'd like to see a full overview. I will put out a new video on version two, how I rebuilt it and made it a lot cleaner uh, soon. That being said, this video specifically is about one problem that I was having that solved a bunch of my problems um, for, a, for, for free and a very lightweight solution. So to go back to it, the actual problem that I was having was I didn't want, I needed to restrict the website so people that were not logged in could only access maybe about five pages, but at the same time, I did not want to use another plugin. I was using a plugin called Ultimate Member, which is a fine plugin, you know, hats off to them, free, very uh, feature rich. But at the same time, like if I have Jet Engine and I have all these other things that I wanna put into this actual website, I don't wanna also have a membership plugin, a membership plugin, when I don't really need to. Um, the, the impetus of this website and the reason for it is it doesn't have, it doesn't have like membership stuff. There's no like courses and things. It's not really like that. So maybe one day it will be, but it's not like that right now. So think of this as a place to handle billing, um, but you have to log in obviously to see that type of stuff. There's no, there's no reason you would be in this website unless you're logged in or unless you're a client of ours, whether it's like a one-off or a, um, or a, like a, like a recurring client. So there's just a lot of things that this one, literally one plugin is gonna fix. So I wanted to give you the kind of the backstory there um, and, uh, and kind of just show you exactly what the thing was. So you can kind of see here that it's my.findatech.com. Now there's like, again, five pages. You can go to this page, you can go to create account, you can go to password reset, and you can go to like the policies of the website. That's all available from not being logged in like this. If you go to anywhere else, like maybe dashboard for instance, then you get redirected back to this. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I did not, I just didn't want people to be able to, to go to any of those pages. I wanna just protect them. But unfortunately, I thought Jet Engine was gonna be able to do that because it has dynamic visibility. I tried um, dynamic visibility. It's widgets and sections, it's great. I tried D um, dynamic OO, the different, you know, different plugin. I have a pro version of that, that didn't really work. And then I also tried um, uh, the profile builder in Jet Engine. And none of those really did exactly what I wanted. I'd like to experiment more with Profile Builder, but none of that really did what I was talking about. So um, this uh, website now has one plugin installed and it fixed all those issues. It actually fixed more, more issues than I, than I wanted, but I'm just gonna, the whole, this whole video is specifically about um, a plugin called uh, Content Control. So I will leave a link in the description for it, and then I'll show you kind of what we have going on here. <clears throat> so there's two things that, that fix this, two little um, uh, you know, restrictions that, that fixed it. Uh, so if people are not logged in and they're not accessing a public page, then redirect them to, the, to home, which in my case is the login screen. And then if they are logged in and they're accessing home, create account or, or password reset, then redirect them to the dashboard which is like the, not, not this dashboard, but this, you know, this 
front end or um, uh, you know front end dashboard of you know what they can see and all that sort of stuff. So really, I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link to this content control plugin, and then I'll just kind of show you real quickly what these are. So if you're so the idea here, this is probably the big one for you. And again, to reiterate, this is like having a membership plugin. Mem this is having restrict content without with restricted content without having like a full blown membership plugin. It's just like really lightweight. Um, there's a couple other ones that I saw. I've heard of restricted restrict content pro. And then I tried to get the free version and it said that it didn't really have great reviews. This one has like 40,000 installs with five stars. So there's probably other ones as well, but this is the one that I went with. So if you wanted to do something like this, if you like if you had a situation where you wanted to, to create a website where maybe a handful of pages are publicly accessible and then everything else is you know, everything else is if you access it and you're not logged in, you get redirected to you know log in or something, this should work for you. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. So I open a new one, I said logged in users. So who can see this content? My understanding of that is like when you get to the contents, like who can actually see that content? Well, the, what I'm trying to do is, you know, put people like outside of this like login wall. So logged in users, you could be more specific, but in my case, I didn't really need to do that. Um, protection, how do you want to protect them? So you can do a custom message or a redirect. Custom message would be like, you know, I think something comes up kind of in the on the screen or in the template, or maybe it's just a white screen. I don't know. Experiment with that yourself, but I, I don't know why you would want to necessarily do that unless you had a different use case. So for my case, definitely redirect. And then where? So log in and back. I like that concept, but the problem with WordPress is I never, ever, ever want to show anybody the actual login screen because I just, I think it's a little, it's a little janky looking that like they go to this thing that says WordPress. I know you can change it and mess with it and everything like that, but I just don't want to use that screen because then you start getting the WP admin stuff and I don't want to do that. Not for our user. So Login and back, I think might deal with that. I don't know. Don't quote me. It would be really nice if you could still keep the, the one thing from this um, from this solution that it doesn't do is if you go to dashboard and you're not logged in. Let's say you go slash dashboard, then you it's going to redirect you to the login screen. It's not going to take you back to the page. Dashboard is a bad example, but if you were on a different page, it's not going to take you right back because that it just doesn't have that um, that uh, redirect like. I don't know, would it be like a query or that piece of the URL? It doesn't have like redirect back to that. Sorry, it doesn't matter. I mean, figure it out if you want, but to me, for, to me it's not that important. So um, so you have home page, which in my case would be where I wanted to go, the login page, or if you had a custom login, like a slash login, you could go custom URL. And the last thing is the content. So this is really like your actual, um, I, I don't know, you're not, not your formula, but your, your, your restriction. So it's like all that, like if, they are, um, like I said, not logged in and not accessing a public page. So they have all these different options in here, like posts, pages, and all that sort of stuff. Like you can pretty much do almost any piece of thing. So they're not logged in, and then the page is not one of these pages, like home, cart, da 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 da. So all of these are publicly accessible, is what I'm, is what ultimately this says. All of those are public pages. So if it's not they're not logged in and it's not a public page, then they get redirected to the home screen to prompt them to log in. And then I'll quickly show you this one is logged in and accessing home, create account or password. So the other thing is like, if they are logged in, you don't want them to necessarily go back to those pages. There's ways around this and I use dynamic visibility to just say you're already logged in or whatever, but this is just a little cleaner. So if you're logged in and you try to go to the home page, like the login page, the create account or password, then it's like, who can see this? Logged out users can see that. The protection is it redirects them back to the, the dashboard because they're already logged in. And then the protection is, is it, you know, it's they're logged in and they're accessing, they are accessing one of these pages, home, password reset, or create account. So that's pretty much it. I want to keep this video super short. Hopefully that was a little helpful. Um, but this is how you can restrict that content for free uh, if you're using all these types of things and not having to implement a whole, you know, separate uh, membership plugin. I hope this helps. More content coming on this pro this uh, portal soon because I'm very, very proud of it. And there's a lot of cool stuff that we've uh, jam-packed in here to make it a really good experience for our clients. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.